I know, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Could you say it just speaking up just a little bit more? What's well, recording and take your time. My mom is awesome. My mom has always taught me very important lessons in life, um, just like character building things, like perseverance and responsibility. The most unique attribute about my mom is her ability to tell me what I can become and to make me believe in that. My mom is a trooper, if I had to think of any word to describe her. Um, I know that she's been through so many things in her life. My mom's great, I love her. She is so full of life, she's hilarious, she's an excellent cook. Uh, oftentimes, uh, I probably was one of those children that uh, someone would say, oh, that, that poor child is lost. Maybe I kind of was at the time. I uh, broke our glass table because I wanted to crack uh, a walnut with a hammer. One of the greatest things that I learned from my mom was to always have a plan and never be discouraged. And always do your best no matter what you're doing. Where you are, um, you just need to act in confidence. And as you do that, um, you can be successful in anything that you want. There was another time I ripped the, the pool lining, and there goes our pool. Uh, I'm sure everyone was thinking, this child is lost. But I remember my mom always told me, you can do hard things. And I remember she'd always say things like, uh, you can believe in yourself, and that'll make all the difference. You can rise above out of your troubles. And even though I may not have believed in myself immediately, it made all the difference that my mom believed in me. She makes me laugh. She and I love to go to concerts and musicals together, and we have that bonding together. And we, can, um, we can talk about that and we can sit through that and enjoy each other's company um, while we're watching things. The things that she has taught me about how to be strong and how to do what you need to do and how to carry on and really helped me get to the point that I'm in in my life today. You know, because she taught me the gospel, because she was such a good example of you know, doing the things that you need to do in your life, I, I'm here. I remember even from the time I was tiny, tiny, she was a single mom, and she was so strong. She could do anything, and she took care of me and my sister like there was nothing else to do, and there was so much for her to do, but we were a priority. And I will always remember how much we could tell that from her. And in the end, I, I'd say I am who I am today because my mom taught me to believe in myself. And ultimately, she taught me to believe in God. When I've gone through hard times before, it was that foundation that she, that she helped me establish in my life when I was young, of living the gospel, that I could make it through those hard times and I could learn to repent and learn to follow Jesus Christ and have the joy that I have today. And I love my mom for it. She's always been a figure of faith for me, uh, and I definitely give her credit for uh, my faith in Jesus Christ and for what I've accomplished. And I know it's all because of my mom that I am where I am today. I love her for that. Love you, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. I love you, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. Love you, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. I love you, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. Perhaps the reason we respond so universally to our mother's love is because it typifies the love of our Savior. As President Joseph S. Smith said, I quote, the love of a true mother comes nearer to being like the love of God than any other kind of love. As in all things, the Savior set the perfect example in the love he showed for his earthly mother. In the final, most pivotal moment of his mortal life, after the anguish of Gethsemane, the mock trial, the crown of thorns, the heavy cross to which he was brutally nailed, Jesus looked down from the cross with concern for his mother Mary, who had come to be with her son. His final act of love before he died was to ensure that his mother would be cared for, saying to his disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that point on, the disciple took her unto his home. Then the scriptures say, Then Jesus knew that all things were now accomplished, 
and he bowed his head and died. Today, I stand before you to bear my witness that Jesus Christ is the very Savior and Redeemer of the world. Our Heavenly Father wants all of his children to return to him. I know this without contradiction because of the witness of the Holy Ghost to my heart. I didn't always know. When I was younger, I had to rely on my parents' testimony. My mother assured me that if I stayed on the road of truth, even when it seemed hot and dusty, even when there were distractions, the end would be better than the beginning. I will be eternally grateful that mother told me. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.